Underswap is a cool AU. I mean, one of my favorite versions of Papyrus comes from there. But how did it all start it? Well, it started all with this post by the artist Popcorn Print, who doesn't want to be seen as the creator of Underswap anymore, due to the fact what the fanbase did to his version of Sans. But more on that in another video. Anyways, the first Underswap post showcased the hyperactive Sans with a battle armor and a message from the artist who wrote following. Okay, so, I thought what if there's an O in which the brothers' personalities are somewhat swapped? Let's call it a under swap. BC, honestly, one thing I love more than passive chubby pun skeletons is hyperactive chubby pun skeletons that love to make tacos and share them with his brother. If you're looking for this post, I must disappoint you because this post no longer exists. But instead, I got a research paper down in the comments, as well as one of my many videos. There are many versions about Underswap Papyrus, but how was the OG Underswap Papyrus born? Well, it all started with the second post from Popcorn Prince about Underswap, which had following message. More of the Underswap oh that no one asked for but still. What if Swap Papyrus wears those indirect text post shirts by Zazzle Poetry? He almost always slouches over to Sans doesn't feel small. In this post, we got to know a lot about Underswap Papyrus. We even get to know that when the main protagonist meet Papyrus for the first time, he wears a really silly glasses. You know, the glasses with a huge nose. Papyrus also wears these Zazzle Poetry's hoodies, who are known for being quite silly. He is also shown to smoke, but it isn't weed. It is a normal cigarette. But the most important thing we found out is that he is a really chilled but also silly guy, who is more into pranks than puns. Meaning, he is not a one-to-one -one cop. Under Papyrus is one of the most famous papyrus in the whole Undertale fandom. And here are some of his canon facts. Underswap Papyrus is the same size as his canon Undertale cell. He wears an orange hoodie, usually with indirect text posted written on, which always change whenever his mood changes. Papyrus is a laid back and easy going guy, often fooling around on the job and taking breaks. This laziness was formed of him knowing about the resets, but he saw this as a bad excuse of becoming lazy and became a lot more active than the canon Undertale Sands. He enjoys playing pranks and performs most of the time in the NTT Resort, which hints that he may be a talented jokester and a talented comedian. He loves fantasy stories and loves to drink honey. When Papyrus first meets Kara, he wears a fuzzy nose glass and says, Human, don't you know how to greet a fellow human? But when he meets the human in a genocide run, he starts to hate Kara because they killed his brother Sand. More facts about Under swap sands. He is full of energy and full of life, mostly because he doesn't know about resets in this version. Apparently this version can actually smile and open his mouth, because in the original concept art he opens his mouth and has eyebrows. He also tries to be a part of the royal guard, even though he always gets rejected by the royal guards because of his low stats. Weirdly enough they ignore his special ability of karmic retribution, which would be a huge help against a genocidal maniac, but whatever. This doesn't stop him to try anyways. And even if it doesn't work, he at least got a good career as a chef. Because he cooks a lot of Mexican food, mostly tacos or burritos. He could even try to be a comedian because this Sans doesn't hate puns. In fact, he actually likes them as much as the original Sans. But even when this fails, he can always sell his immense science fiction action figure collection for some extra cash. He calls himself the Sensational Sans and the Supreme Sans. Hands. His eyes can turn into hearts or other different shapes to express his emotions are light blue with two dark circles in them. He also likes riddles instead of uh -huh. puzzles. He enjoys making uh -huh. puns and pranks. Sans speaks using uppercase letters, using the comic Sans font. When Sans is fought, he tells Kara to run into his arms, before getting killed. However, if you spare him in the genocide run, this will end the route. 
How did the fanbase destroy Underswap Sands? Well, it is simple. Underswap Sands came out when the Undertale hype and therefore the Sands hype was at its highest. Meaning all the Hornet fangirls made fan art and fan fiction about their favorite skeleton daddy. And then out of nowhere, a cute Sands appeared and all the fangirls who loved things like cute boys, stupid boys, Shoto or Steven Universe jumped towards the Sands. And I start massacring my boy by making him younger than he actually was, making him a yandere, making him extremely stupid, as well as acting like a sugar addict. And worst of all, making sexual fan art about this character, where the character has sexual relationships with his brother and other characters. Which is the reason why the creator left the fanbase to get some milk. So what happened to Gaster in this AU? Well you see Gaster were seen by the creator of Underswap as a so-called enigmas, meaning there are mysteries without any real character traits or personality. So at first Gaster wasn't even meant to be an Underswap. But later on the creators changed their mind and decided that Gaster became the new River Person, and River Person became the new Royal Scientist. So who is Underswap Frisk? Well there are the first human who fell down in this AU. There are also the second adopted child of Toriel and Asgore, the first one being Monster Kid. But not much is known about them but the fans assume that they took over the role of Kara meaning everything Kara did, did this frisk also. So who is Underswap Kara? Well there are the main protagonist of the AAU Underswap. And there are a 9 year child, and since frisk already didn't have a personality there also don't have a personality. What actually happened to Asriel in the Underswap universe? Since everyone is swapped in the Underswap universe, then who has Asriel swapped with? Well the answer is quite simple. He swapped places with Monster Kid, making Monster Kid and Frisk the adopted children of Asgore and Toriel. But since in most web universes Toriel became super depressed of being the queen and having so much burden, Asriel was always alone resulting into different storylines, where he tries to find an idol or a father figure. Who is Underswap Asgore and Toriel? Well there are the king and queen of the underground, and had once two adopted children Monster Kid and Frisk, until they even got their own child named Azriel. Asgore left Toriel's sides as she declared war on humanity, and now Asgore lives in the ruins serving Golden Tea, taking care of all the monster in the ruins, while Toriel takes the role of a kind but super depressed queen force to kill every child for the so-called greater good, who is underswap Nap Stablook and Metaton. While well, you see both characters have changed their role, what a shock am I right? Metata now lives in the ruins and is a bit shy. While Napstablook became the star of the underground and a DJ. So what was the idea behind the mad dummy in Underswap? Well it's actually quite funny. You know that in Undertale the fist enemy you face after Flowey is a dummy where you need to learn how to take you way out of your situation. While the dummy in Waterfall is super mad, and is ready to kill you with rockets and knives. So in Underswap both these dummies swap places and instead of learning of to talk to enemies you learn in your first Underswap encounter how to dodge. While the waterfall encounter becomes just a lazy dummy, who wouldn't hurt a fly, who is Underswap Alfies. Well there take the role of Undyne, and is unforgiving when you kill someone, but quite forgiving when you spare everyone in the underground. Anyways, since they're spent their time always training they're never watched anime, but become extremely interested when you tell them about anime. Alfie's also helped Sans cook, and has a crush on Undyne, who is Underswap Undyne, well to be honest not much is known about here except that she is nerdy, loves anime even though she knows it isn't real, and loves the giant robot anime genre even though Papyrus dislikes this genre of anime. She has a crush for Alfie's in this AU and build for Napstablook a robot suite, 